We discovered the oldest known ancient DNA from Africa, and that comes from field sites that I'm currently working at in Malawi. So Malawi is an interesting part of Africa because it has this combination of this really long, typical Rift Valley lake, but it's incredible, it's huge. It's like an ocean. And then on the other side of it, you've got this high plateau, which kind of leaves this narrow corridor, if you will, of, of mountainous terrain. What you get is a, is a lot of diversity in topography, precipitation, landscape, ecology over really short distances. And you know, those are the things that I think would have been quite significant to people who are actually having to live off that landscape in the past. So the ancient DNA that we've recovered comes from skeletons that were found in a few different parts of Malawi. And they were the remains of hunters and gatherers who used to live in that part of the world. And we weren't sure how old they were, but now we know that they range in time from about 2,500 years ago to 8,100 years ago. And that they come from a population that was pretty similar to each other. So there wasn't a lot of change over that very long time span. This was a continuous population of hunter gatherers. So she was discovered alongside with, with also the male skeleton in 1950. It was impossible for dating to be done directly on the skeletons at that point. And they, they became, quite frankly, forgotten over time. And so when we returned to them, that's when we found that they were actually much older than we had anticipated. So even though Malawi is today ethnically very diverse, it's clear that the living people, for the most part, do not represent or come from those ancient hunting and gathering populations. If they do, they're not represented in any known samples that we have access to. So it looks like that is an extinct population, that the hunting and gathering people of Malawi are not just gone as a lifeway, but they're actually gone as people as well. We find the human remains inside archeological sites surrounded by the bones of animals that they hunted, surrounded by the tools that they used, surrounded by the ornaments that they wore. And those are really the key to understanding who these people were. One thing that's really easy to forget when we look at the way people live today is that for most of our evolution, we lived as hunter-gatherers. So if we want to actually understand our own past and our own origins as species, as people, we have to know what those lifeways look like. And if we just look at living hunter-gatherers today, we have a very non-representative population of people who live in a few small parts of the world, isolated from um, some parts of society, but also integrated into other parts of society in ways that were really not the case in the past. So we need to use the archaeological record to get that information. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.